Oh, I like your sweater. Where'd you get that sweater from? Scott Kramer. Oh, actually Scott Kramer. Well, it's now uh, 9.45. Slept until uh, about 8.45. At the end of the street, turn left. We can't get this place to answer the phone. So we're just gonna ride over there and hope somebody's there. It's a little bitty town, Leland, North Carolina. So I'm afraid if they're not there, there's not really gonna be anywhere to park or anything to do. <clears throat> so, that is my fear. Ugh. Turn left at the stop sign, I don't know. then take the second left. There's a, little, there's a little truck stop over there, though, isn't there? Yeah. Did they have showers or anything? I don't know. Ooh, we can get some breakfast. You want some breakfast? Uh, at Waffle House? Uh, what? I don't know. Probably. I'm hungry, though. Turn left at the traffic light. You're not hungry? Just worried about texting somebody there. It says they're there until 2. I guess I have to get on this highway. Oh, I didn't know that. I thought we had to get off that way. I thought we got off this exit for a reason. Yay, they were here. That's nice, huh? All right, we made it and they're here. Check it out. Looks like they got uh, all kinds of pipes and stuff. I wonder if that's the inside casings. No, I think ours is completely rubber inside. I could be wrong though. That might be the inside casings of what we're carrying. Maybe. So let me figure out where they want us. It's starting to rain. I don't think I can set you guys up, but we'll see what happens. No, 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 no,
Hey, you go lay down, Mikey. Go lay down, shithead. Go lay down. Go on. You don't want to be out there. I don't know where we put our rain jackets at. Um, seriously. All right, so we are unloaded. Woohoo! Hey, I'm so glad they were here Sunday. Now, we just have to find somewhere to sit till Monday. I think we're, uh, see how far we are from the, ha from the house. I think we're six hours from the house. Take me to Valdosta, Georgia. Light coins up. Sure, home, let's go. Let's go. Seven hours and 18 minutes. We're not doing that. No way, Jose. So we're going to just sit for the day, grab something in the morning, maybe bounce around another day or two and go home. <coughs> oh, yeah. Come on, baby, light my fire. Litecoin's the only thing making, making us money right now. Well, we went down one exit and now we're stopped in a little uh, shopping plaza. We're gonna walk over and grab some breakfast at the uh, at the Waffle House. And I need to walk and see if I can even get out of this parking lot. That's the thing with driving a semi truck sometimes and going into places that you might not belong. I mean, I guess worst case scenario, I could probably back out of there and pull that way. But this little gas station burnt down, so I, can, I think I can definitely maybe get over there and not have to worry about blocking anyone there. Well, we have stopped driving for the day. We are uh, at a Sam's Pit in Regalwood, North Carolina. It's supposed to have two showers in there. So this is where we'll be until we find another load. Switch this around. Oh, look. She likes to jump up in my lap when we stop and look around, don't you? Huh. Problem is, she doesn't know when we stop sometimes that she wants to jump it but in my lap when we're driving, huh? <clears throat> well, I am going to... I started you guys a video last night. I'm going to try to get it finished up right now so we can get it uploaded today. We'll maybe bust out a few of them and um probably go take a shower later what do you think Mackies? hey look at the camera look at the camera right here look right here at this camera hey for butts <coughs> well it is the next morning it is uh probably about 8 30 now and uh, I slept amazing. Lita is now sick, so that's not good. Give you guys a look at this whole uh, little truck stop. Their shower was 12 bucks, the shower was decent. Uh, we got some food from there last night. Food was a little pricey, but uh, it makes a turd. I think they said uh, 40 trucks here. I don't think 40. I don't know, maybe you could fit 40 trucks in here tightly. Um, I don't know what the fuel prices is. I don't know if uh, our card works here at a discount. Of course, we just got fuel maybe four hours ago. Mason's on the board right now trying to find us some loads. We're about to run in here. It's 848. We're about to run in here and, uh, oh, I like your sweater. Where'd you get that sweater from? Scott Kramer. Oh, actually Scott Kramer. Scott Kramer hooked us up, didn't he? 
All right, let's go grab some breakfast. How you feeling? Not great. Not great? Yeah. Oh, and that's Mason. Well, it is now 1145. And there is some cheap shit on the boards. Oh, it's either not going to an area that we need to go to. You know, we're trying to get home, obviously, for Christmas. Honestly, everything's cheap. Mason called on loads. Brokers are like, we're not paying you guys anymore because we know you guys have to go home for Christmas. Did he tell you that? Did you hear that? Yeah, that's what, that's what brokers have been telling them. That's why they're not paying anymore. What's the name of this company? Have we pulled corn before? I mean, I guess not. STT. Did they pass? Oh, I don't know. That would be all Mason, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Or this might be a COD. So, Mason found a load that we have to pick up. Looks like we have three hours of deadhead to go pick up. Picking up some tractors and some, like, you know, some basically some farm equipment. Going to Jacksonville. But it's dropping at... The guy said it isn't a port, it's a it's a it's a lot outside of the port, but you still need either a Twit card or I think he said the guy paid like 60 bucks for an escort. So I told Mason, Mason's like it's either this or we drive home empty. I'm like, alright, the guy said it would be uh it wouldn't be a problem to get in and unload. I said, tell him if we sit there, I'm driving his tractors to uh, Valdosta. He can come pick them up there. So, here we go. It's, it's, honestly, it's my fault because I wanted to come, you know, help out Scott. And then we lost all those loads. We had one going to Tallahassee and we would be home right now. But the broker screwed that one up. And then just so I could get out of New Jersey, I took this one coming down here. And just far east, it's like you either deal with ports or you deal with that, that toilet bowl of uh, not, not getting out of the northeast. So, anyways, we are going to start driving. Concord, North Carolina. We need our ramps. So, I hope we don't need all the ramps. I hope the tractors and stuff can drive up one ramp. I don't know. I guess you'll see when we get there. All right, so we have arrived. This is, uh, so the broker ended up sending the the weight and the lengths of everything and i added them all up i'm like it's too long it's 59 feet worth of stuff so we've got this tractor we have to pick up and then we have this mini excavator we have this electric forklift and then we have a trailer back here that's about 18 feet long this, this gentleman here is moving some stuff around so we can get it out Oh, he might be hooking that truck up to it. It's that little yellow trailer back there. So, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this on my top deck. And then I'm going to bring that trailer in. Set this on that trailer. And then put the, uh, put the tractor next to it. I end up slamming my door shut on my seatbelt. So now my driver door won't open. Because it's got the seatbelt lodged in there. Today's just a, been a fantastic day. Lita left the APU running for the three hours that we drove over here. So, it's just been one of those mornings. And then I get here to this cluster of shit and have to deal with all of this. So, hang tight. Let's, uh, let's throw some ramps out and get these things loaded.
That's probably as straight as you're going to get on the trailer. That wheel's that wheel's not gonna be on that right. I gotta lift this. I know I gotta lift this plate up. You want me to lift up the tail of the trailer and just walk it up with you? What's that? You want me to lift the tail of the trailer and walk it with you? I'm wondering how we're gonna unload this. Uh, we might be taking this to my house and they're gonna have to come get it from my house. <laughs> I told I told my son to get my dispatcher, I said, Tell him it's a pain in the ass, they can come get it from my house. So I drove. Every time somebody says, oh, it's easy, it's easy, I'm like, you just jinxed me. You realize that, right? always Halfway. Yeah, they might have to hire a wrecker to come get this on. Woo!
that is chain this trailer to the trailer and then chain the forklift to that trailer. Yeah. I don't know if that's legal or not. I don't know. We are now at a rest area in South Carolina. Now I had enough hours on my clock to run this. Oh, there's Mackie. I had enough hours on my clock to uh, run this. Now this is supposed to be, uh, they told us it'd be a little less than 40,000 pounds. I'll, I, I, I'll put a thing on the, uh, on the screen here. Um, but I was like, you know what, this, this feels a little heavy. Let's go weigh it. So we are, uh, we're 1900 pounds over bite and I've only got a half a tank of fuel. So this thing's probably, uh, I don't know. I'm too tired to do math right now. So anyways, we tried to go down the road from where we loaded this and, uh, I ended up missing the entrance to the pilot. So we went to turn around and we heard a big bang. And I was like, what in the world was that? And they've got these handles welded on these trailers for like, uh, you know, for securing things. Well, this one back here snapped off right here. Look at that. Snapped it right off. So I ran it up to this ring which that one looks like it's on a little bit better than, well, I don't know. This one didn't look like it was a problem at all. So anyways, Lita's in the truck right now trying to figure out some overweight permits. The electric forklift that we had to load on a trailer on our trailer. Here we go again. Busted through the uh, boards. Um... You know, it was riding along, if I'd have paid attention, I was riding along these metal beams nice. But I had to kind of kick it over a little bit to get up the uh, the ramps that were on this trailer. And uh, end up coming off of that beam right there and sinking them tires. It's just, um, I don't know if it's a board thing. You know what, I really don't know. 
You know, everybody's like, I should have put oak boards on here. But I'll be honest with you, man. The oak boards, trailer boards are so freaking expensive. I'm better off just replacing boards when I snap it, to be honest. I did a uh, price check on trailer boards to replace the boards on this. And I think, I think the company wanted $7 a foot per board for the trailer boards. And I'm like, that's absolutely insane. Look at that. So, I let this guy know. I called, ooh, it's kind of dark. I need to turn the brightness up on this. Let me see. How do I do this? Let me get back over here into the light where I can see this thing. It's been a while since I, since I messed with it here. Ah, here we go. Uh, maybe we can see better now. The light on this thing is pretty, pretty crazy. Um, I don't even know what I was talking about. So... Oh, yeah, I, I told the guy that we're overweight, so he's telling me to come up with a new figure for getting the permits. And I told him, I'm like, look, man, if I can't get the permits till the morning, uh, you're going to have to pay me for sitting here now. So he said just to figure out what it'll be, get back to him, and uh, we'll see what happens. Um, I ended up finding two of these at a truck stop, which is a good thing because I ended up being too short somehow. I thought I had 14 binders, but after putting everything out, Lita went back around and counted and we have 12. I'm like, I don't know. I'm gonna have to go back to one of my old videos where I talk about how many of what I have. So I plan on giving these to my brother because all he has is snap binders. So when we're done with this load here, I'm gonna give him, there's this one and then I got another one on the other side over there. But I wasn't crazy about these, these hook points that I had here. You can see this one's kind of bent and buggered up. So I, I ran uh, four inch straps over top of these uh, tracks just just to be careful, you know, just just to hopefully catch this thing if if this thing tries to straighten itself back out. I don't know, that just, that thing, the, the other way, the other side's the same way and I, I was a little nervous about that. I got the truck doing a regen, that's why it's, why it's revving up. Um, yeah, I don't know. And then we put this binder, these binders on back here and I put this binder right in front of our door, which by the way, I got a brand new toolbox coming. Um, just kind of looking at it, the wood's kind of starting to show its age. So I went ahead and ordered a new toolbox for that. So that'll be in, I think after Christmas. So you guys can stop giving me hell about this toolbox. But anyways, I stuck this this ratcheting binder here and now we can't get this open so we couldn't get to our bungees luckily we had some extra bungees that we just keep up kind of up by the headache rack because sometimes we'll forget to put some up and we've already locked this and we're like ah just put it on the headache rack so anyways they said this thing only weighed 5,000 pounds and I'm like <sighs> there's like a book down in there It definitely weighs more than that. I think maybe the tractor without all this cage stuff was 5,000 pounds. Even then that's got me uh, questioning. So anyways, let's go. Ch I'll go check on Lita with these permits. Hopefully we don't have to sleep here tonight. Even if we don't have to sleep here tonight, I'm gonna charge them more for, uh, <clears throat> I was gonna hit them up for more money because of the fiasco of loading this. And uh, I don't know if the camera's really gonna show or do it justice, but this, was a freaking nightmare. So let me go check on Lita. I'll get back to you guys later.